Welcome to the absolutely improvised monologue. Uh, it's day three of Kathy Hessian. She must really like this uh, stuff. Uh, this is her, you know, it's down there. So they brought Porky Jr. home from the hospital and everybody just fell in love. How do you not fall in love with a chubby little baby, pink and shiny and, and, and soft and they smell great and everybody was amazed at this kid. He was unbelievable. What they didn't know was that he had a problem with his pelvis. Now the doctors warned us, the doctors told us there, there's an issue here, partly because of his his birth weight, which holy cow, Gail had to go through a lot. She may as well have passed a, a Volkswagen through there. Uh, but they said, you know, it's going to be a while before he can walk straight. Uh, but, you know, we figure he's an infant. He's not going to walk for a while anyway. What we didn't realize was that this is going to go even longer than expected. But he was so smart, and I, and I kept thinking, well, he's got to be Gail's kid, because how's a kid, how's my kid going to be that smart? This kid is brilliant. And and he's sitting up, and the doctor's like, he shouldn't be, he's too young to be sitting up. He shouldn't be sitting up. We're like, we can't keep him down. Before you know it, he's toddling around. And the doctor's like, I can't believe that. That kid should not be toddling around. He's supposed to have be having problems. We're like, I can't believe it either. All of a sudden, it's nine years later, and this kid is playing soccer. I'm amazed. Gail's amazed. Gail Jr.'s amazed. Porky Jr. never gave it a second thought. He wasn't amazed. He was a kid playing soccer. When he got his college scholarship, I was even more amazed, because I can't afford college. Maybe the junior college, but I can't afford a real college. Porky Jr. and his soccer skills got him a real college. Now that's amazing. 